Olympic champion Linford Christie takes on his old rival, the Nigerian Adenikin. Colin Jackson clashes with Olympic champion Mark McCoy. And Sally Gunnell and Yvonne Murray also enter the fray. International Athletics from Lausanne, next Wednesday at 8 on BBC One. Come on. A case of confusion? Personal ads? Desperately seeking Susan, keep the faith. And just who is Susan? Well, there might be a Susan, but that's not my Susan. It's my Susan. Rosanna Arquette and Madonna. Fortunately for everybody, I'm here and I'm thinking. Movie comedy, Desperately Seeking Susan. Tuesday at 10.20 on BBC One. It's Danny Baker now on BBC One recalling another of his small screen heroes. Listen to this. Crackerjack! Hear that? Nothing. Now who'd have thought we'd all live so long as to be part of an age when you could stand anywhere let alone smack in the middle of the BBC and yell Crackerjack to no effect. And it was no fluke either. Crackerjack! So in any event, he gets his Crackerjack pen and pencil. He also has first choice. Ready, steady, go! Tonight, we deliver a belated TV bouquet to the mighty talents of Peter Glaze, the monkey of Cracker Jack's Gibraltar, the eye of its hurricane, the secret of its goofy success. And it was a success. 1955 to 1984. Stiff, corny and cube-shaped. Gaze on that nose and underneath. Her evening gloves are white. She has two rows of pearly teeth. She takes them out at night. I <laughs> <laughs> what says she as she smiles with ease? She wears a scent that smells quite new. I think it's gorgonzola cheese. <laughs> I think it's time we went, don't you? Yes, come on. Oh, those boys. Now, if it looks quaint today, that's chiefly because it was quaint even then. But the idea, as children's TV became a straight fight between sci-fi and social awareness, that there was always this corn-fed, cardiganed turkey of a vehicle to fall back on, felt almost womb-like to me, even at ten. Peter Glaze never tried to sell me a darn thing. I'm sorry, Lady Table. <laughs> lady Table. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lady Table. I'm afraid there isn't a seat to be had in the theatre. No, not a seat at all. Sold out completely. It's always the same, you know, when we have Dame Soda Fountain. And... As a matter of fact, I've got a black belt. You need it to keep your pyjama trousers up. <laughs> Pete, well, I'm doing this for your own good. I... Hmm? There. Did you see? Our first true example of the glazed genius. His gift. His shining light, the art of responding. Watch again. Hmm? This time in slow motion. And you thought Sizewell was a reactor. Peter Glaze, the platinum foil, and though Eamon Andrews may have dubbed him Crackerjack's assistant nitwit, he was nothing of the sort. Formerly a long time understudy to the crazy gang, Peter Glaze took his broadcraft to the small screens when Music Hall collapsed under the TV aerial assault. <laughs> Now, this week I'm going to talk to you about antiques. Now, what could give you a bigger thrill than walking into an antique shop and finding something terribly, terribly old and saying, God heavens, it's Peter Glaze. The man with perpetually usurped authority. Oh, yes, when the going got cheeky, nobody was more shocked than Peter Glaze. Well, this week I'm going to talk to you about my experiences in the drum. I'm going to tell you all about the times when I was acting. I remember on one occasion I was appearing in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs and I ran out to the stage and I said, Where's the other six? Where's the other... <laughs> <laughs> Lastly, a real beaut of a take. Well, hello there. Now, this week I played a marvellous visit to the zoo and I was sitting there, it was such a lovely day and I thought, what a marvellous job this would be working in the zoo. And just then, the zookeeper came up to me and he said, What are you doing out your cage? What are you doing? <laughs> While watching this, it is important to remember that what we are seeing here is no knowing pastiche of old routines, 
This is not a send-up of ham or an aping of a bygone style. This is the real thing, original. Pete went so far as to bring a new word into the language, one that was actually written into his scripts. It was spelled D-O-H, but pronounced DOH! Don't be daft, they'd never get down the spout! DOH! I'm going to get the scriptwriters to have you gored by a bull, isn't it? <laughs> ridiculous! Yes, that was it, ridiculous. DOH! So it is clear that when it came to shenanigans, gags and whiz-bangery, the kids were in safe hands. There was a cloud on the horizon, though. The kids began demanding rock and roll, and little Peter was no little Richard. Golden years gone. Don't let me hear you say life's taking you nowhere. Angel go, baby. Look at that sky, life's begun. Nights are warm and the days are young. Well, when he stops in the room, he feels confused like he's walked into a play. Full marks there for even attempting to stage a spark song within a sketch format. Actually, no pop song was too daunting that the team couldn't flatten it out and put it to work in panto. Back in history before time began, all the real cool cats had a solid plan. When they dug a nervous tick, they all to a man went, oh, oh, oh. Ape call, hadoodly abba, ape call, hadoodly abba, ape call, hadoodly abba. If you want to be a cool man, go ape. In later years, the link into the numbers became surreally contrived. Here's a perfect example. And I'm convinced that you're holding something back from me. You'll find out soon enough, Pickling. Yes, with all these gadgets of yours keeping me awake all night with them, you are. I'm losing sleep over the secrets that you keep. Every crackerjack ended the same way. At the height of finale mania, the host would appear, fully and pointlessly costumed, to break things up for another week. <laughs> Yes. They wanted to do that for a month. <laughs> and then it was gone. The fact that it managed to keep its head above the scheduling waters for so long is purely down to the power performances of its old-fashioned cast, featuring that one ever-present, Peter Glaze. Looking back at the footage, you do wonder if kids would still laugh like this, or applaud so full of politeness and gratitude. Probably not. Don't get me wrong, kids' TV now is vibrant, varied and fulfilling. It's just, today, where can you go to get a decent... Oh! Good night. Cracker Jack! Now it's goodbye to Cracker Jack. Cracker Jack! We hope that we will soon be back. Soon be back! We have enjoyed your pleasant company. And we will always think of the... Why could care for you?